Network 1 has the pulse timer and Network 2 the pulse timer coil. The pulse timer starts on the leading edge of a 0 to 1 transition. The input must remain true for the timer to time to 0. The coil is 1 or true while the timer is timing down and the coil is 0 when the timer has timed out. Each time the input transitions from 0 to 1, the timer automatically restarts. It is not necessary to assign a reset or output addresses. The time format for all S7 timers is S5T pound sign followed by the hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. The max time can be 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 30 seconds. The timer's name, T100, also acts as a coil and can be evaluated as a contact. It is not necessary to add an external coil like M250.1, but you can if you like. Let's monitor the block. Highlight Network 1. We will energize input 1.6 and leave it true while the timer times to zero. You'll notice that the T100 bit in network 3 follows the timer. Transition input 1.6 to false and then to true again. If the input goes false before the timer times out, the timer will stop timing and the coil goes to zero. Each time the input transitions, the timer automatically restarts. The pulse timer coil in network 2 operates in the same manner. To review, the pulse timer starts on the leading edge of 0 to 1 transition. The input must remain true for the timer to time to 0. The coil is 1 or true while the timer is timing down, and the coil is 0 when the timer is timed out. Each time the input transitions from 0 to 1, the timer automatically restarts. And that concludes this video.